If you've been keeping your finger on the pulse of the media, you'll know that there is a virus outbreak making waves all across the world. Coronavirus. While still only causing major issues in China, it seems that everyone is quite worried about this infectious sickness. As with most novel viruses, we don't know enough to truly understand the scope and scale of what it could do. However, there may be some precedents to look at in order to gain some perspective. Other coronavirus outbreaks have been covered extensively in the past, and by looking at the coverage, effects, and after Aftermath, we can begin to understand why this newest one is an issue and how to prevent it from causing major problems. Hello fellow friends and philosophers and welcome back to the most mind-bending channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your voice in the void, Keegan Hughes, and today we are asking a rather wordy question related to the most talked about illness out there. What if SARS came back in 2020 and spread around the world? Before we get into the nitty gritty, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more of the latest. Wicked. Let's get started. SARS is an acronym for another coronavirus, standing for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. It was first reported in Asia in February 2003. After the initial discovery, it spread to more than two dozen countries on four continents. Of the 8,098 people infected, 774 died, leading to a 9.6 fatality rate. The CDC information sheet says that only eight people in the US died from SARS, all of whom had traveled to other parts of the world where SARS was spreading. There have been no new cases of SARS reported since 2004. Symptoms of SARS are typically flu-like, including high fevers of over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, headache, discomfort, body aches, respiratory issues at the outset, and potentially diarrhea. Around a week, patients may develop a dry cough, and most folks with SARS develop pneumonia. It spreads through close person-to-person -person contact, as well as through droplets from sneezes, coughs, and on surfaces regularly touched by those infected. If you touch something with the virus on it, and then your mouth, nose, or eyes, you might become infected yourself. As it is a virus, antibiotics won't do much to help. Instead, patients should be given supplemental oxygen and additional fluids. Steroids to reduce swelling in the lungs may be administered as well. So what if it did come back today? Well, we can look to China right now and see what a similar disease would do. However, I suppose that's not the question at hand. We don't want to see something similar, we want to know what would happen if SARS were to return. There are no guaranteed answers here, but it's likely that we would be more prepared. If SARS came back and it was just as it was in 2003, folks might recognize it right away and take proper preventative measures. One might think quarantine, travel block, public screenings, all good ideas when it comes to outbreak. However, even quarantine might not be necessary when it comes to SARS. A doctor looking back at the SARS outbreak said that it was an unusual virus that was not infectious before people got sick. Interesting enough, but I'm sure people would still rally for quarantines. So if it came back and was caught quick enough, it's unlikely that it would spread too far. But if it did spread across the world before being noticed, things might look a little different. We live in such an interconnected world now, meaning that diseases like this can spread very quickly. Planes, trains, and automobiles become carriers for the virus and expose it to all sorts of new folks. If someone didn't know they were infected, they could bring it with them and infect even more people with no recourse. Even if someone did know they were infected or were at risk of being infected, people tend to be reckless. There's always somewhere to be and they'll be damned if they don't make it there on time. Plus, a lot of folks overestimate their immune systems. They believe there's no possible way that they could get sick. Yikes. Like the jerk in a zombie movie who waits to tell everyone they've been bitten. However, even if it did spread, well, you gotta think about the fact that it also did that last time. We had around 8,000 cases, which when compared to the world population of 7.8 billion is not that many. As infectious as SARS was made out to be, it wasn't really that tenacious. Maybe if it did come back and made its way into denser population centers, it would infect even more people, but there's no way to prove this. In the end, if SARS came back and spread around the world, it would likely end similarly to last time. People would perish possibly at a 10% rate due to the effects of SARS, but it wouldn't be as dire as the media makes it out to be. Plus, we'd be prepared because it has happened before. So keep washing your hands, cover your coughs, and maybe don't hop on a plane if you've been exposed to anyone sick. What do you think? If SARS came back, what would happen? Do you think the coronavirus will follow the same path? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.